Welcome back to Furiagaba, where we are in the home stretch after several months. Last time we witnessed Senpai breaking out of her shell a lot more, so to speak. And she has shown her uh, aggressive side. And asked us if we don't love her because we've been holding back after she saw several couples doing the dirty in public. Anyway, today is one of those lovely mandatory attendance days. It's lunchtime, and I'm in the cafeteria eating with Senpai, per usual. Seriously, wish they'd rethink this whole school during summer recreation thing, yeah. I... We have school during summer vacation too, but it's for people that failed the actual school year. I mean, you gotta agree that it's pretty dang impossible to get in that summer vacation mood when you're constantly having to go back to school. I agree. Yeah. Of course, of course you are because you love school. There's nothing wrong with that. And, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. He just has to go and say something that warms my heart right in the cafeteria. Yeah, well, she's a beam of light like no other. How can I be so narrow-minded? She's absolutely right! If it means we can be together, there's nothing bad about coming to school. You're damn skippy. But I guess they do kind of make up for it by giving us a fall break. Yeah, when it's colder. You have any plans for the fall break, Senpai? Uh, oh, that's right, Senpai is, uh, graduating. St studying? Oh, so I almost forgot, but she's a year above me. How could you almost forget that? <laughs> Soon she'll be graduating before me. Which means come next year, you'll be alone again. Yeah, I'll be spending lunchtime all alone. <laughs> Slip by! Just imagining what school would be like without Senpai is almost enough to make me cry. And that's no exaggeration. Yeah, I can, I can sympathize with that. If you finally get your first girlfriend, then you're gonna have to spend the entire year without her when you're in school the next year. That's... that's a kick to the dick if I've ever seen one. Ah, uh, fuck everything. I should've gotten to know her last year. Go side. See, I imagine what things would be like after you graduated for a moment. It felt awful. I mean, I'm gonna have to eat all by myself once you're gone. I want everyone to walk me to school in the mornings. And after school, I'll have to walk home all sad and lonely by myself, seeing all the couples by the station. Ah! Senpai, please! I'm begging you! Just delay your graduation by one year, please! Uh. Oh. <clears throat> I actually almost cried myself. <laughs> yo, yoshi, yoshi. Ah. There's that gentle Senpai touch we all know and love. Well, 
I know and love. And those of you that have actually played this before, slowly strokes my head. I guess she felt my pain too. I think about it more. Problem goes away deeper than. Problem goes deeper than just her graduating before me. What about where she'll go to university? What about the guys there? Oh. Senpai, please don't dump me when you go to university. You really think she'd do that to you, buddy? Even if some hot dude with ridiculously good communicative skills for the tennis team comes up to you, you absolutely cannot talk to him, okay? Why not? She can talk to him, just don't, you know, go any further than that. Yeah. <laughs> She's basically worshipped as a princess in Josai High, so there's not much I have to worry about with the guys there, here. But my girlfriend is definitely going to get hit on when she goes to uni. And we simply cannot have that. She's always so carefree and open. So honestly, I really wish you'd learn to be more wary of people. Yeah. If not, just, it's just a little bit. Fuck. That can be super creepy right now. How good of you to realize that. A little too late. Now that I stop and think about it. My urge to be a controlling boyfriend is only growing as time goes on. Okay, that's not a good idea. That's not a good mindset. You do not want to be a controlling boyfriend. This goes for all of you that are listening. Don't control your significant other. Let them do their own thing. Just, you know, hold, hold to them that they won't go and fuck around with other, other people, if you know what I mean. Just saying. Strength of your love... Wait. Oh, okay. Strength of your love is, has a strong correlation with the chance of you restricting your girlfriend's freedoms. Even if that's not your intent. Really. That's odd, because I never... I never thought of restricting my girlfriend's freedoms. Even the ones that lived a couple thousand miles away from me. I can painfully understand what those types of people must feel. I don't really want to avoid going down that route if I can. Tears trickle down her cheeks. Oh, no, not more senpai tears. S senpai. <laughs> Great, you made her cry. Dick. And of course, the first person to notice is the fucking Astro White knockoff. Mm, Right. It's only a little over half a year until her graduation. Gotta do everything we can in that short time. Yeah. Just about that. Senpai, I have a solution. Just repeat a year. That way we'll both graduate a year later at the same time. I don't think she'll go for that. And neither will her parents. Do you have Yeah, that's the idea. You get bad enough grades so you, that they make you repeat, you'll be able to graduate with me! Oh, right. Uh, what grades did you get in the last finals? <laughs> All straight A's, right? Alright, not quite straight A's, but... Yeah. Also... Why do you have to learn classical Japanese? How much of it do you still use in Japan? If any... If I have any Japanese brigadiers out there... 
How much classical Japanese do you still use in your vocabulary? So you passed. Oh, It's impossible. It's physically impossible for her to repeat a year with grades like that. Her brain and mind straight up differ on a fundamental level. Yeah, I... The same goes for basically every girl in this game we get to have roots for. Cool. Now that's a respectable field. Man, I had a plan and everything. Such a good student. So, so. Hell yeah. I mean, hell, you got your classmates up your ass all day. Trying to get, you know, answers and advice. And tests. <laughs> oh yeah. Ugh, excuse me. Oh yeah, much better than me. I single-handedly dragged down the class average on tests. That's not something you should proudly admit to your scholar of a girlfriend there, buddy. Because I guarantee I've got you beat when it comes to cheating methods of private teachers. Oh. Yes, you do. It was just a joke, but I decided to double down and thrust out my chest, too. Bow before my powers! <laughs> Yeah, dude. No. <sighs> you go from making her cry to making her pissed off. Way to go. Oh! Did I just get flicked in the forehead? Oh! I receive a love filled fist. <laughs> the crown of my head for the very first time in my life. This, this is totally new. Even after all the time we spent together, I've discovered a new charm of hers. God damn. We're just learning all kinds of shit. Sco scold me more, senpai. I humbly request a fist combo to the head. If they beat me to a pulp, that'll motivate me to study harder. Fucking masochistic asshole. Yes, really. That one hit alone already kicked a fair bit of my brain cells in here. Yeah. Oh, great. Now you just, uh, activated her abusive side. Way to go. <laughs> uh, a little too locking in force. Gotta hit me with all you got. Move your hips and put your weight into it. Oh, no. He's gonna be concussed. <laughs> uh, wait, what? He's got a point there. Uh, you're gonna, like, headbutt me? <laughs> oh! Yeah, bye! What now? She's so random, but holy hell is she so cute. Yes. And now he's probably sitting there with a concussion. Suddenly stops butting my head this time, he's her body against mine. No <laughs> Sa Sadly, it doesn't seem to be enough. <laughs> okay, wait, stop! That's definitely gonna kill me! I think we just joked enough for today, Senpai. Uh, are you ready to eat lunch? Udon or soba? What do you want today? Jordan? 
Yes, we know. We know. Following that, she starts to pout very noticeably. You've been dating for a decent amount of time now, but I'm always discovering new expressions of hers. Never gets old. Going with shrimp tempura again? I'll buy yours as thanks for the headbutt. Heavy, heavy tempura. I hear you. Just give me one sec. I'll get you an extra large serving. Treating Senpai to lunch in the cafeteria has honestly turned into a personal pleasure of mine at this point. No, we're not in the cafeteria. I get to eat her homemade lunches, so lunchtime is always something I look forward to. They're in different grade levels, meaning naturally we can't see each other during class time. But we always get to spend lunchtime together. Every day. So I never really do feel sad about that fact. Damn phone. Uh, alright, where was I? <clears throat> That'll be a whole different story after she graduates. I'll be feeling super sad. Are you fucking kidding me? You got people trying to shoot their shot right in front of me? What the fuck is this? Oh, we're still doing this shit. Unbelievable. <sighs> ah, don't they just love me, those fucking pricks? It's probably a shared sentiment among the third years. In their minds are probably some sleazeball who found a way to trick Senpai into dating me. The most ironic part is, though, I completely understand their desire to keep her safe. I can see where they're coming from in a certain sense. Pretty well acquainted with how those girls feel. Yeah. I mean, there's just this thing about Senpai that makes you fear that she might get kidnapped if you don't watch her close enough. Yeah, could it be the fact that she has no street smarts? Okay, almost no street smarts at this point. Hi, uh, two servings of Ebi Tempura Udon, please. Ayo! Nee, chotto ii? Uh, yes. Huh? Nani so de? Sawatari senpai no koto nanda kedo. Anta, kono mama de honto ni dajobu nano? Uh, uh. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, and the way I see it, if I, even if I try to get the record straight, they're probably just gonna blow it off. Yeah. yeah, I already knew that. On the list of unsolved problems between us, that's quite frankly the only one left. I thought about it a fair deal myself. Honestly, I wouldn't mind clearing up all the rumors about her. I mean, you wouldn't mind? Dude, that should be the first priority. Yeah, that'd be fine. At the end of the day, I think what matters more than what I want, yeah, is what she wants. It honestly seems to me that she's no longer bothered by those tribal things now that she has a me. And if that's true, I don't feel any need to pointlessly stir up drama. Simply just ignoring all the unpleasant stuff and enjoying our school time by ourselves would be a perfectly valid option just as much. I... He's... I wouldn't be able to ignore that crap. <laughs> Oh no, appreciate your concern. I think I'm, gonna, I think I'm gonna discuss it with her and see what she thinks. The fact of the matter is, I don't think I've ever heard her say what she wants to do about this. I then carry my tray over to our table where Senpai is waiting for me. 
couple third years for giving me funny looks. I didn't pay him much attention. Good man. Some on your uniform, actually. Oh, don't do that to her. Oh. oh okay. Ah, <sighs> good woman. They're only shell senpai. Yeah, don't rain on don't rain on her parade, dude. School's out for the day, and senpai and I are making our way home, like always. Cut back on my part-time job hours recently. I want to spend as much time with Senpai as I can. I think I, I, think I did know that already. What? Uh, it only appeared during the summer. Ah, uh, learning with Senpai. Always good. Huh. Alright, so if that's the case, then is there a winter variety? Huh. That's interesting. I sure know a lot, Senpai. Every once in a while, I'll get to hear some neat piece of information from her. And unlike with me, I'm sure all of her knowledge tidbits are actual, practical stuff. If she weren't as shy as she is, I could actually see her being pretty popular. Yeah, different popularity than the kind she has now. Uh, yeah, I want to ask you something, Senpai. Semi <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Not about cicadas. <clears throat> uh, pardon me. You know what your classmates are saying about you, right? Hey, you're some rich girl living in a huge western-style mansion and all that? In my opinion, I'd, I'd say it'd be good to, to surprise everyone. But all those silly rumors are rest once and for all. What do you think about that? Like, you, you want to keep up the element of surprise? Or, surprise. At the element of secrecy? Seeing how she immediately goes silent and stares down at her feet, it's probably a different subject for her, like I thought. I know she's not a very assertive person, if she doesn't absolutely have to do something, she'll probably opt to just leave it alone. On top of that, she's also very susceptible to things like peer pressure. Yeah, that's been very evident. I understand that, that about her, so I won't go about this forcefully. Uh, come in. Let me clarify, uh, I'm not saying you absolutely have to change things. I just want to know if Maybe it was bothering you so we could work together to do something about it. Oh. Eh? What'd you tell them? And, okay, that's a start, and what else? Oh, so you actually told them already? Well, that's not what I expected. Not for sure, she just keeps silent the, uh, the entire time. Alright, so, uh, how'd they react? Mm. Not well. Or they didn't believe you. <sighs> Those motherfuckers. Those absolute motherfuckers. Wow. Well, of course. 
Things never work out that easily. Especially when they're concerned. A bunch of fucking idiots. Worked out with Mochizuki and them. That was only because those rumors weren't too ingrained in the students of our grade level. But with her classmates, it's a whole other story. They've known her for a long time, and those rumors have existed just as long. It'd take a lot to overturn something that deep. And now I factor into it myself. I'm sure if Senpai tried clearing things up now, you would all just think I, her boyfriend, instigated her into doing it for some random reason. Probably bad. More than likely. From their point of view, I'm the enemy. The nasty person who beguiled Senpai. It's pretty safe to assume that's how things have played out. Uh, oh yeah, there you go. Might not invite him over to your house. Might not also buy some of your vegetables too. There's two birds with one stone, as they say. In the West. I'm not sure if they say that in the East. Seems to be a surprisingly clever approach to me. Right. The only way to, to get them to believe you is to show proof at this point. Sure, I don't see why they would. It'd be impossible for them to still deny the truth after seeing Senpai's home, meeting her parents th for themselves. And at that point, I guess they could deliver the final nail in the coffin. I'll give an eloquent, long-winded speech detailing how Senpai is just your normal, everyday girl. <laughs> I like where this is going, Senpai. Plan is to just tell everyone about the existence of Senpai's Family Green Grocery. Sawatari fruits and vegetables. You may not believe us, in that situation, we just tell them to go and see it for themselves. Yeah, in that in that instance, the trick though is to actually get them to go. Does your store have any flyers by chance? I did. Oh, good. Not bad. Yeah, why don't we both get some of those flyers and start handing them out to, at school? Oh, excuse me. Uh, can you get them even a little bit interested in your store? That should make inviting them over a lot easier. That's a good idea. If that's okay with you. I won't force you to do it if that's not what you want. Flashes of brilliance every once in a while. Oh my god! Actual words of praise from you! <laughs> and they weren't. And they were in an entire sentence and with no ellipses. Afterwards, I see Senpai home like usual. I helped her shortly. Explained the matter with the flyers to her parents, and they said he was alright by them, as long as he didn't stir up a commotion. Alright, time to put this plan into action. You done with the flyer, Senpai? Lunch break the next day. Uh, Senpai is in my classroom, based on a sheet of paper with a serious expression. She suggested that along with the flyers, we should create an easy-to-understand map of the store with some simple illustrations. All this fellow guys are looking, looking over at us with uh, ideas of murder in their heads, probably. Shut up, Tomoe. Mm -hmm. 
スイカあ<笑>私怒ってる先輩初めて見たかも Yeah, you don't want to piss her off. She has shown a lot more emotion these past few episodes. Seeing how serious she's taken this, maybe she's always wanted to tell her classmates about her store. And I'm sure if we tell everyone Senpai and Drew these, we won't be able to refuse taking one. Holy shit. Oh, this was a perfect time then. Oi! Pack that ass up. You'll get your chance. Probably, probably last, but you'll get your chance. Yeah, back off. Look what's trying to steal a guy's girl. Even if it would be good, uh. Porn material to some people. Yes, they're they're all eighteen. Oh boy. At least that, at least that's what it said at the beginning of the game. They all look the same age. Even though they're not supposed to be. Uh Holy shit. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. We got we got the uh We got the mount I forget what I called her. Anyway, we got Yuzu involved. <laughs> okay, hold on guys, we're gonna make a ton of copies later, so just be patient until then. Dude, if it's written there, then it is. Momo, my friend. I think you ought to visit a supermarket for once in your life. <laughs> How the hell did you get 50 fucking yen for a single head of cabbage? What world are you living in, uh, dude? He's a reptilian. <laughs> he's, not, he's not living in this world. I mean, technically he is, but not mentally. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. うん。<笑> You gotta love fresh veggies and fruits. <laughs> uh, the bane of Himari's existence. Senpai, <laughs> Even if it's a baby carrot? Just 
嫌い好き嫌いはダメあ、ハオ先輩、suddenly stands up from her seat 人参のベータカロテンは体内でビタミン A に変換され体の抵抗力を高めるほか細胞を悪性化させる活性酵素も制御するあーまあ、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、がんの予防にもつながり、肌のシミやそばかすにも有効なの。あ、あのー、さらに、造血作用があるから、貧血や冷え性も治って、粘膜や皮膚も健やかな状態に保ち目にも潤いを与えてくれるとにかく人参は食べなきゃダメどうしてもダメなら同じく抗酸化作用のあるリコピンを豊富に含んだトマトなどをははいわかりましたわかりましたから先輩落ち着いてください That's my girl It's a died in the wool daughter of a green grocer for you Damn Skippy <clears throat> Can't really blame Himati for being completely and utterly overwhelmed. Another good point. Strokes Himari's head, showing sympathy and understanding for Himari's hatred of carrots. I guess it's safe to assume that if I get married to Senpai in the future, our family dinners are going to be loaded with vegetables, and there's nothing wrong with that because I love vegetables. Oh, the ones I've had anyway. Especially、uh, carrots and broccoli. I bet you she learned all that from her dad. Again, nothing wrong with that. Senpai, Kazo Kuni, Pima, was she no for the Kiranets, Gaironesma. We see Tori Hoho to Kastemus. Eto Pima, oh wow, so you can cook too, Hiragi? Urusaina, a t o r i m a d o Aha. It. It's her deal. She hates men. That's all there is to it. Beeman, I'm going to eat a little bit of a soup. I'm going to eat a little bit of a soup. I'm going to eat a little bit of a soup. Start suicide recipe somewhat proudly. Enjoy being the center of attention. I guess this is the person she is when she's in her element. I want to help get her to the point where she can talk about stuff like this with her fellow third years. Without them laughing in her face about it, those assholes. I was waiting for Senpai to finish making the flyer. I was already thinking towards after school. I made 200 copies, Senpai. Think that'll be enough? That's, I think that's more than enough. After school ended, I went and managed to get copies of the flyer ready for, with Justice's help. Another good, another good guy in this school. We're not giving out coupons or anything, so I guess 200 is actually more than enough. Our strategy is to each take 100 flyers and go hand them out in front of the school gate. Oh. And I got permission from the school to do this. So if anyone starts complaining, just tell them the teachers know. <laughs> He holds the flyers to her chest. Change into my outdoor shoes quickly and then we head over towards the school gate. Come visit Sawatani Fruits and Vegetables! There's a big three day long summer sale starting today! Everything from onions, napa, tomatoes, fruits aplenty too! 
all for super low prices, so please stop by Sawatari Fruits and Vegetables. Uh, <clears throat> that's my sales pitch voice for you. Oh no. I'm going about it enthusiastically, but Senpai is handing out the flyers very sheepishly. Oh, it's like use you all over again. Only this time I won't get kicked in the face. Or in the balls. Uh, students eye us curiously as they pass the gate, but apparently they feel interested enough to take the flyers. Surprisingly, most of them are actually taking one. Judging by how fast these things are moving. Going, rather. Maybe I should have done 400? If we wanted to reach the most amount of people as possible, the best location at this time of day would be the main square by the station. But our obje objective isn't that. What we're trying to do here is prove to the school that Senpai's Green Grocery really exists. I make full use of all the things I learned from my job and hand out flyer after flyer, hoping to make them reach as many third years as possible. Oh, yattru, yattru. Damn right. Well, he just started, so I can't say anything just yet. Anything to get away from that bitch of a wife, huh, Justice? The most attention-grabbing item on the flyer would be that watermelon Senpai drew, which looks like a soccer ball. Yeah, I said soccer, and I'm, I'm not going to say the other word. Okay, fine. Football. There's also a handy map with directions to the store on it, so even if people haven't been there before, they won't have trouble getting there. Oh, もちろんこのチラシには書いてない野菜もいろいろ置いてあるんだろう。はい、あります。うちは品揃えが豊富だからスーパーに置いていないような野菜もいろいろある。You won't find it supermarkets. Wow. Wait. <laughs> Senpai, justice is not our focus here. You gotta need to get your classmates interested. Hey, that's the more the merrier. The what? The wasabi salad plant? Eh, makes sense. A little... And by the way, yeah, a little spicy. Look, Justice, I appreciate the interest, but we're busy right now. Don't have time to answer all your billion questions, bro. Leave them all out. He's giving her. He's. Ugh. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> Gotta have muscle spasm right when I'm recording. Yeah, he's he's giving her business too, you know. Ah! <laughs> Oh, yeah, see? Students are clearly avoiding us out of fear towards justice. Good job. Come fucking on. By littering around here, you're defeating our entire purpose of handing out these damn things. Yes, I'm I'm Oh, there you go. Divide and conquer. Okay, really? Uh, we can handle it ourselves, thank you. <laughs> God, what a dick. A wonderful homeroom teacher thus walks back to the faculty room in a pout. Because you're an asshole. 
shit. Maybe it was a bit too rude there. Me but anyhow. All the students are opted to take players from Senpai. School celebrity over me. Not that I didn't expect that, but still. My flyers are dwindling by the second as I keep handing them some of mine to Senpai. And around 30 minutes after we started, the flyers are just about gone. Nice. Looks like we only have got about 30 left. Here's old girls from Senpai's class finally show up, as expected. Probably think I'm some slave driver forcing her to stand out here and do this. I can feel the hostility as they look over towards me. Here we go. Yes, go on. Senpai appears to have cold feet now that they're actually here. Well, I can see why. These girls are really the are the really pushy type. They don't want to listen no matter what you say. You don't know me, bitch. How about you take a fucking walk? Observant. Well, maybe you should try that. It's obvious to anyone that we both love each other a whole lot. You're damn right. Right? I, I hate people like this with every fucking fiber of my being. She might have a hard time expressing her emotions through words. Her actions spell it out loud and clear. There were a couple of instances of that even before we started dating. And at that time, I can confess to her as well. Confess to her as well. Uh, even now, she's huddled up as close as she can to me. The least I can do is acknowledge that we have a completely healthy and loving relationship. Good luck. We oh go from the man hater Yusu to the fucking man haters of the third year. Absolutely. Do you think she feels miserable? Do you think making her eat lunch with me is some slave job? Is going on dates with me when we don't have school some cruel demand? Oh my god. Alright, looks like we gotta drill some some more shit into their heads. I don't care how much they throw me under the bus, I'm not I'm not phased in the slightest. When they go and try to speak for Senpai, tell me how so she supposedly feels about all this? Now that just pisses me off. How does she come across as miserable to you? Please, yeah, please enlighten me. Every time I'm with her, she makes it clearly known how much she wants to be there with me. Why are you so dead set on breaking us apart? What did I ever do to you? Let me just be clear here. She and I are dating. We are a couple. And I really wish you would acknowledge that. Uh, there's no point in picking a fight here. I can't get caught up in my emotions here and do something stupid. That might spell bad news for me and Senpai's relationship. Oh 
Senpai, just, just speak up. The answer straight away. Oh, yeah, bye. Just those simple three words alone have already boosted my self confidence by a huge amount. Watch your mouth, bitch. そういう可能性は全くのゼロなんですか。え、一緒に一緒にいたいから。こうしていつもそばにいるだけ。沢谷さんならもっと彼よりもふさわしい相手がいますよ。絶対にいますよ。うん、いる。絶対にいるって沢谷さん。オーマイガード。それに私、彼の噂いろいろ聞いてるんだよね。いや、アライベット、they're それでたまたま話す機会があった。純粋で素直な沢谷さんを。ち、違う。一緒にいたいのは私。はは。そ、沢谷さん。あ、あの私 Probably because she's having trouble sorting her thoughts. Her sentences come out a lot more fragmented. And her tone desperate. They don't have to understand everything at all. But at the very least, Senpai wants to make them aware of the fact that she really does love me. My arm tighter than usual. I guess I mean she's a little aggravated right now. Her hand is shaking a little from the nerves, but she did her very best to get her feelings across regardless. And I can't be any more proud. Nothing they say phases me at all. But if they badmouth Senpai, that's a whole other story. I don't doubt that I'd get heated. You're fucking right. You don't badmouth Senpai and get away with it. Seems like that was the same thing Senpai was feeling. The slight trembling of her hand tells me loud and clear how much it hurts her having others say bad things about someone she cares about. Today's plan was just simply to try and get everyone to realize that she's just a normal girl. But right now, she put that on the back burner so she can defend my reputation. Senpai, I... I really... I 
really, truly love you. Let's put an end to all these rumors, these assumptions, misunderstandings once and for all. Yeah, do you believe us now? Family Green Grocery is doing a sale. Did you come by? That's her last name, yes. Hi, so this. Senpai is an only child and her parents run a green grocery store by the station. She's not this humble, quiet, rich girl from some super prestigious family. She can joke around when she wants to, and if you tease her too much, she actually gets mad. <laughs> yep. She's just a normal high school girl like everyone else. She made herself believe that she's some special kind of person. But that's not who she is. I mean, she is kind of special, but still. Lately, she's found that she really likes trim. <coughs> ah. She really likes Ebi Tempura noodle soups. And she enjoys going on dates with her boyfriend like every other girl. She's the average run-of-the-mill girl you would find anywhere. No different from any of you. Isn't that right, Senpai? show you. Just follow us and it'll all be clear in a minute. Here we go. Hey, Rashid Ashay! Kyoa to go with Seru Jishishu da yo! Daikon mo kabetsu mo minna yasai yo! Uchi mo hishi da kara ne! Kyoa to go with Dai Service J! <laughs> Store is crowded like I've never seen before. So the advertisement for the sale must have been a hit. I spy Mochizuki, Himari, and company among everyone here too. They're all here to check out the store and get groceries. I think most of us are. あなたも城塞のせいとさ。え、どう。はい。お父さん。どう、ミサキ。やっと帰ってきたな。母ちゃんの方大変だからすぐに手伝ってやってくれ。Uh huh. This right here is where she lives. See? Just like I said. This is where I get to say I told you so. Okay. Let's not rub it in that much. This is where I get to say I told you so. I don't think we have to worry about these girls' dishes themselves being sent by after this discovery. I certainly hope not. The whole reason they were scowling and berating me so much was because they care about senpai so much. She's now the most important person in my life, so I've come to understand her sentiments. Their sentiments, excuse me. But ultimately, those feelings don't, those feelings don't mean a thing. What senpai herself wanted is just a normal school life that I'm positive of. She 
probably isn't consciously aware of it. And I think that is what this whole issue boils down to in the end. I'm not just dating her for fun or anything. I'm really serious about her. So, could I please ask for you to acknowledge us as a real couple? And it only took you a couple of months to realize that. A couple of months, couple of weeks, somewhere around there. And I'm sure that's just what she wants. Just hearing the word friend is enough to make that girl's eyes shine, I swear. you guys some help. Pushing in as a last minute helper is my specialty. Uh, I want to help out too. Well, what do you want me to do? You got it. Hi! I land up next to her and copy what she's doing. Apparently, they also have a delivery service for those customers who buy a lot at once. I'm so happy I get to work together with Senpai at such a bustling storefront. Man, it really does feel great seeing all these customers, doesn't it, Senpai? Uh, all that matters. The smile on Sawatari Misaki's face can only be described as a smile of pure joy. I love this girl more than the world. And likewise, she indicates her feelings for me just as clearly. First girlfriend I've ever had, and the last as well. She is a wonderful, beautiful girl who is no different than anyone else.
couple of years have now gone by since Senpai and I started dating. Oh. Uh, yeah. The whole time during the, the credit sequence, I was hoping that they didn't show any anything too, you know, anything that I had to censor because I don't really have the capability to censor moving things. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, okay. A couple of years have now gone by since Senpai and I started dating. After graduating from Josai High, she went to university as a nutritional science major as she intended. She would create recipe after recipe for all sorts of vegetable centered dishes. dishes. One day, I decided to upload those online, and to my surprise, they were a huge hit. After I graduated from Josai High, I chose not to go to university. Instead, I started an apprenticeship at the Sawatari family's green grocery. I spent several years honing my knowledge of economic theory and learning the ins and outs of the farming industry. And now... Ah... Uh, come on, stop by! Don't be shy! You got rockfish and celery for real cheap today! Senpai and I, currently engaged, have now started our own seafood store. Funnily enough, our store sits right next to Sawatari Fruits and Vegetables. Ugh, we get a lot more customers than I thought. I guess that means our opening day has been a pretty big, it's pretty big success. They go from veg veggies to fish. Yeah. This wasn't always a plan for Senpai and me. Well, I guess I should be calling her Misaki by now. Yes! God, I can't believe it took you this long. The initial idea was to open a green grocery. However, during my time as an apprentice at her parents' store, I came to the conclusion that there was no real merit in simply copying them. I discussed this in detail with Misaki, and we both decided that we wanted to do seafood instead. Today marks step one of fulfilling that dream. Running a seafood store is fundamentally different from a green grocery, both in terms of ec economics and the industry workings. Still, I saw this as a challenge. Uh, to take on new frontiers and through all that hard work, our relationship grew even more. Not a clue, but ask, ask Misaki. Kinmedaiは見つけにするのが一般的だけど、当店のおすすめはしゃぶしゃぶです。え、しゃぶしゃぶ？金目鯛のあらから出汁を取り、そこにえぬきだけや白菜も一緒に入れて煮立たせます。I hope, uh, at least some of you have been taking notes, <laughs> going through all the recipes that you've been mentioning over the course of the show, of the route. Of course, our store is local. Though our popularity online is still rising, as the cute culinary scientist. <laughs> well, they're not wrong. I already grew used to the dating someone used to dating someone famous when we were in high school. So honestly, at this point, it just feel plain weird if she wasn't. That's my Misaki. All the housewives in the neighborhoods go to for cooking stuff. Ah, don't be, don't be too shy. I know there's another word for it, I just can't think of it right now. Um, or modest, that's it. But that recipe book of yours is getting published soon, isn't it? Probably safe to assume you're going to get offers from TV channels in the near future. Can you imagine her on the Food Network? Uh, 
恥ずかしいから断る<笑>はっホットいいの。今はずっとこのお店のことだけ考えていたいから。あ、あとはあなたのことも。ああ。Say that for once you actually get married. I had a neat idea of starting a business that involves directly selling fish from fishing harbors all over Japan to local customers over the internet. That should be getting off the ground here soon, so all that's left on the list is our wedding. Uh, what are we gonna do about the ceremony? We'd make it totally local just like our store and have an open wedding reception for everyone. Don't worry, we will. <clears throat> But first, we gotta save us up enough money to make that possible. I know that we're gonna keep doing just fine as a team. We're one body, one soul, both outside of work and outside of work and in. Strangely enough, we've never even once had something that could be called a fight. You'd think we would, being together 24-7. So now that we've opened the store, I think we should get ourselves a new goal. Do you have any ideas, Misaki? <laughs> Of course. <laughs> uh, don't worry. It's coming soon. I have no doubt in my mind you will definitely be a good wife and a good mother. Ran high there. Oh, we got extras. Uh, I'm gonna wait until this recording ends before I click this. Anyway, that was Misaki's route. I'm gonna miss her because, like, like I said at the end of every episode, she is best girl in my eyes, and. uh, I'd love to meet someone like her in real life, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, of course it'd be awkward at first because of how she was at the beginning. But, you know, more character development in the game and in real life. Uh, but seriously, if you have, if, if you're the type of person that Can't accept someone's relationship just because of their reputation elsewhere. Then uh, you want to reevaluate yourself just a bit. That that kind of thing really pisses me off. The way her classmates are trying to break us apart because they didn't think that she was quote unquote or 
No, that I wasn't quote unquote right for her. But I'm glad we uh changed their minds in the end. Also, I apologize that this route took so goddamn long. Uh, I ended up I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in a few other videos that I ended up getting a puppy. And uh I've had to keep an eye on her. So my alone time has been very limited and my ability to record has been even more limited actually. Uh that said though, halfway we are halfway through Futagaba. Which means it is time for another Root choice. We have either Ibari or Rina. So let me know which one you'd like to see. And until next time, don't be a dick to your significant other, especially if it's like someone like Senpai. Always eat your vegetables. Don't be a dick to your friends. And keep on rocking.